Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Guess what time it is? Shopping haul time. I haven't had one of these in a couple of weeks. It's time to do another shopping haul. This time it was Hobby Lobby. And uh, I went there to pick up a couple of fairies because Grandma Harley has any fairies because she didn't buy anything at all last year for her fairy gardens. And I haven't hardly found any fairies this year because the stores have very low inventory. Well, as you can see, Grandma sort of bought more than a couple of fairies. Let's go and see what Grandma bought. Well, I did get some fairies. I got these two here. They were six. 99 a piece. Nothing I bought today was on sale. Grandma was under pressure just to buy some fairies. She couldn't worry about a sale. And so I got this beautiful, let's see if I can get this thing. How beautiful she looks. And she looks like she's photographing really well also. I wanted to leave the tags on so you could see how much everything cost. But she was very pretty. I loved all the beautiful colors she was. Hard to believe this was from Hobby Lobby and I bought four fairies all together. And this was about all they had that I didn't already own or didn't want because there were some fairies I didn't like at all or they just didn't have much. Every All inventory at all stores is bad. This one was super cute. I really like this one and I'm sure I'm going to be able to use her a lot. These fairies will be used in more than one post. You know how Grandma is. She always reuses everything she buys. And then, uh, this was all one set. This was the two fairies and the little, see if I can get into this better, in the garden, Love Grows. That was super cute. And the rabbit over here was super cute also. Oops. I'm going to break her pieces before she even gets done filming. And the rabbit looked really cute. It came with a bird bath with a bird on the edge. That was super cute. And then it came with this little piece right here. And I thought it looks really nice with this little fairy because of her lavender or purple wings. And the flowers match perfectly. So I will probably be using those two pieces in one display. This one, this is still the same set. Uh, this came with a little house. It's a welcome sign and this little fairy. I feel like this fairy is really a little too big for this house. But you know, I have other fairies that are smaller. Now these fairies fit perfectly with this house. So I will probably use this size of fairy with this house. Don't you think they look really nice? And I'm sure I can find some trees or something to put around them to give them some shrubbery. And Grandma always has a few succulents laying around. Well, here's another really cute little piece I found. And this one was really a really good price for $3, $2.99. And this can be a center of a little small fairy garden. And I'll find some little accessories to put around it. I thought it was cute. And look how they finished and painted the water off. I thought it was super cute. And of course, the duck and the ducklings look so cute together. I thought that was a great buy. Now, I saw these two. Well, I could have just bought one. But when I saw them, I said, oh, I need a pair of those. And here is a beautiful pair of sunflower chairs. Because you know, Grandma's favorite flower is sunflowers. So that worked out beautifully too. They were a little pricey. Uh, that was uh, $6, so that's $12 for the pair. 
And I always tell you guys, fairy garden can be a little pricey if you don't watch it. And let's see what else we could do. We could use those chairs with this little cart here. I think size-wise, it looks like it would go pretty good. What do you think? That's a great thing about fairy gardens. You just keep reusing and repurposing what you already own with a few new things. I think it would go perfect together. That's just my opinion. And size-wise, it goes pretty good too. Then, of course, everybody knows Grandma loves honey and honeybees. And this was $4.99, and it has two of them. These have the little stick things in them, so they can help support them in the garden. Um, I thought that's a pretty good buy, and I know I'm going to use both of them, and I'm going to use them because I love them. And this was something I couldn't believe that I found. Look, I got a pair of them. Are they not beautiful? These are chargers. And look how they're finished off. They were $2 each. You couldn't ask for anything better. I might even go back next week and see if they have any more and buy two more. I should have just bought four to begin with. Would have only been $4 more. And no, most of the time I just do uh, tablescape for two. But once in a while I do throw a tablescape for four in there. And I have been looking for these chargers, uh, I don't know, at least a couple of years. And I couldn't believe that I wasn't even looking for them. I just ran across them at Hobby Lobby. So this is where you find these beautiful, lacy-looking chargers that I see all my awesome friends uh, having on their tables. And they're just beautiful. I finally have my own. I'm so happy. Well, also wanted to share what also what Hobby Lobby does. I know I've shared this before, but let's share it again. Wait a minute. Now, those beautiful chairs that I just bought, as you can see, one of them is in this picture. The little fairy sitting on the mushroom, I have not ever seen her, because if I did, I would own one of her. We'll keep looking. Eventually, maybe I'll be lucky enough to find one or two. Might even buy two of them. They're so cute. This little fairy, I just bought her today. Look what you can do. Won't she look cute once I get her in the garden? And showing her with a bunch of succulents and a few mushrooms and how beautiful everything looks around her. I'm sure she's going to be gorgeous in the garden. And this one here is like a little pixie, I think. And she is cute as can be. I can't wait to find this one if it's possible. Look at that little face. Is she the cutest little thing you've ever seen? And you can see how they turn the flower pot on its side and just went and put some succulents in there. See, it's not difficult. In fact, I think we could probably do one similar to this. And I'm sure I have a few dozen pots I could lay over on its side and do a display like this with no trouble. Maybe I should do that next week. How about that? Now, I could put this display together because I just bought most of these pieces in this display. The little fairy I just got, well, in fact, I just got both those little fairies. And I got the little bird bath and the little house and the little bunny. So I have, and I'm sure I we all know Grandma's got some moss laying around somewhere. So I think almost everything you see in here, I already own and have now. So this is how I get a lot of my inspirations from little pamphlets like this. And then here's a little beach scene. Um, I did see this for sale and I didn't buy it because I already spent too much money. But I may go back and try to buy it maybe in a couple of weeks for I'll have some new pieces for my beach scene. And this shows a beautiful container, and I bet if I go looking at Hobby Lobby, I could still find maybe one of these and go over to Dollar Tree and maybe find a beautiful, inexpensive container. Well, let's see what else this pamphlet shows. Now, hard to believe, I know I have this little sweetheart right here. 
I bought her like three, four years ago. But where she's at, who knows, but I do know I had her at one time. I don't know if I ever had this dragon or not. I, it might have been one of the things I wanted to buy but never bought. You know, Grandma doesn't always buy everything she sees. And here's another cute idea from a little drawer that maybe you find at a secondhand store. I definitely know I didn't own any of these pieces. So I would have to go and look for Buster. I still haven't seen him or the doghouse, but at least we know how we could decorate it to look so cute. And here's another one of Buster by adding a little bit of fence and some couples and a little bit of succulents. Look how cute this drawer looks. Does it not look precious? Grandma really should go out and see if she can find something like this to do. Now, Grandma could probably do something like this since you know Grandma has plenty of moss, butterflies, and of course, I just bought a new bird bath. And I believe it or not, at one time I did have that bridge, but the trouble with that bridge is it's not very good quality wood and it is real wood. And when you buy stuff like that, it does not hold up if you have it out in the garden because all the water and moisture, it'll be rotted within one year. So I would say use a metal bridge instead. And you know, I have some metal bridges. My wooden bridge, of course, rotted years ago. But this was a really cute display. So this is how I get a lot of my inspiration from these little type of flyers. And usually you can find quite a few of these pieces with the flyer. Well, personally, I did not see any of these cute items when I was there at Hobby Lobby. Doesn't mean they don't have them. It just means Grandma has not seen them. I love everything here and of course the frogs are as cute as can be in the little easel also. I guess I should be going back and searching high and low until I find something, some of these items. Maybe another Hobby Lobby might be in time to go shopping or maybe just go back again. I don't know how often they change out their fairy supplies there. Oh, that little fairy. Believe it or not, the whole thing came to $20 for the set. For the house, the two fairies, the little bunny, the bird bath, uh, in the garden, in the garden love grow, I got that and uh, this little pot of uh, flowers. So really for $20, it really was a good investment. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money putting a fairy garden together, but you want to have quite a few nice pieces, buy a set. Sometimes sets are cheaper than buying individually. Because I got, what did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven different items for $20. So I'm sure in the long run, this was a big savings buying a set. Because just these two fairies alone, I spent... 14, no, yeah, $14 for it. And I don't have a problem buying sets if I could have found some more sets that I wanted. And I guess I could have, they did have this set right here. Let me see, I did, they did have this one. But I think that was, I can't remember if that, I think that might have been, I don't know if it was $20 or $30 for that one, I can't remember. And I'm sure it's still worth it. But, you know, Grandma only has so much money, and I already spent too much already. So, but what I went to get was just a couple of individual fairies, and you see what all Grandma bought. Grandma does not have any sales resistance. That's why Grandma needs to stay out of the stores. She always spends so much. And, of course, the best time to go to Hobby Lobby is when they're on sale. But Grandma couldn't go when a sale was going and it always seemed great. I did want to get some flowers, but they were not on sale either, and I didn't have to have them right now. So I'm waiting for the flower sale because I do have a lot of projects coming up and some DIYs to share with you, and I need some flowers. And I want to get some good quality ones. Well, I guess I'm done with my shopping haul. Let me know what you thought about the shopping haul. 
Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy. Thank you for all your love and support. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Now, Grandma can get busy and make a lot more fairy gardens for you to enjoy. Thank you so much, my awesome friends, for all your love and support you always give. This mini garden has seven pieces, a cottage, stand of fairy, and a setting fairy, some flowers, a bird bath, a bunny, and a heart stone. The total cost was $19.95. And as this says, this is for decor use only. It's not a toy. So YouTube, this is not toys. These are for home decor decorations for the garden not toys and for miniature lovers like me